Welcome back. And of course, this afternoon we have a massive game. It's top versus second or third. I can't remember now. I think it's third. It's, uh, thank you very much, out at the Inverley Oval. Undefeated, the Inverley Hawks. Nearly got knocked off last week by Manny Burn Tigers. But they're still undefeated. And they take on a very, very informed, rampaging North Geelong Magpies. I'll start with you, Mitch. Mm. Can the Magpies cause the upset of the season and knock the Hawks off? And I think you did say on hashtag yeah. up once that they're always one, every time they win a game, they're that closer to losing one. So much closer to losing a game when you win. Each win you have, you're closer to a loss. Got no idea. But anyway, well, that you know, just means every day you live, you're closer to dying. That's what it means, Dick. But uh, oh, yeah, God. I do believe that, and I don't think it'll be an upset. I do believe that North Geelong can win out there today, because uh, you know there were some signs last week. I thought uh, within belief, although they had a lot of players out and they did a mighty job to beat Bannockburn on their home ground. Probably people think I'm, I'm silly to tip uh, North Geelong today out at Inverley, but I think the ground will suit North Geelong. I really do think if they are going to be genuine contenders for the flag, North Geelong need to win today. They've had a couple of injuries, uh, their form's been up and down, but if they can't rise to the occasion today, they never will. So I'm going to tip North Geelong in a thriller. Grubby, North Geelong, two losses so far. One was against Thompson, a little bit of a surprise to a lot of people, but not to me because it was Thompson that was uh, dead level with Inverley the week before. But they certainly were found wanting against the Bell Post Hill unit a couple of weeks ago at Bell Post Hill. Are they good enough to beat this top side? Oh, there's no doubt they're good enough because they've been one of the best sides for the last couple of years. But that game really worried me out at Bell Post Hill, although Mitch has got spot on with the ground. The ground was a lot bigger up there. Mm -hmm. But I just worry. I've seen both sides in two weeks. North Geelong didn't impress me, obviously, two weeks ago. Inverley did last Saturday. They had uh, Hybens out, Grundle out, Anderson out, Seed out. And they went out to Bannockburn and won the game. Didn't kick straight. If they had a kick, kick straight, they could have won it by more. And I think they'll give North Geelong a terrible hiding out there today. Alex, this is probably the game we've been waiting for all year, isn't it? So uh, it's going to be a good one. Oh, it sure will be. Um, you, you mentioned all those players that are out from their final sides last year. But one player that was still um, playing against Bannockburn was a Cheney and from the highlights package I saw he really got amongst the inside ball so that's good to see for the Hawks um, coaches and look I am going to go for the Hawks by a kick again. Well it should be a great game indeed of course you can catch all the action from 1.30 this afternoon on 94.7 the Pulse your home of country football it is the match of the day that comes straight after hashtag giddy up on the Pulse at 12 o'clock with of course Mark Spider Brody, Andy Richards and Johnny Mitchell himself. Another big game on this afternoon is out at the Ring Road Matt Recreation Stolke. Reserve. Sorry? Matt Stolke. Who? Oh, Stolke. Sorry, Stolke. Okay, Jason. Jason has a... <laughs> a geez, I'll get knocked off here, won't we? Um, out at the Ring Road Recreation Reserve, the Bell Post Hill Panthers. Well, they take on the Belmont Lions. Um, I'll start with you, Alex. I don't know where the Belmont Lions, even though they're playing OK, I don't know if they can beat this mob out there. Yeah, well, I say it every year. These are my two favourite sides <laughs> in the comp. And as much as I, I was proven wrong with Belmont... Um, Against Thompson, I do think uh, Bell Post Hill will definitely get the chocolates today, Dick. Grubby. Yeah, they're starting to look the goods, Bell Post. They struggled a little bit early with injuries, but they're looking the goods. It depends which Thompson turns up to. If it's the Thompson that played Werribee Centrals two weeks ago, they get beat by 20. And if it's the Thompson that turned up, uh, sorry, the Belmont that oh. turned up against Thompson last week, they get beat by five. Jeez, I thought we were going to have to play them three times game. this year. No, no. So, <laughs> thank goodness for that. Depends which one turns up anyway. <laughs> well, that'll be Belmont, I hope. Yeah, well, I hope it is. <laughs> I right. hope we're not going there. Well, they play, did they, who did they play last week? Thompson. Thompson played Belmont. Thompson played Belmont. Mm. Well, if they play what they did against them, yeah. they'll get beat by eight. If yeah. they play like that against Werribee, they're going to mm. be by 28. And you said Belmont impressed you last yeah, week. Yeah, Belmont so. did impress me. They were very quick. Uh, they had a few injuries, but uh, I was certainly impressed with uh, their midfield. There's a little fellow on the wing, number 21. Grubby Cation. Uh, he, uh, he was very, very good. Number two was very good. Um, you know, is yeah, that Walsh, is it? Walsh. No, Walsh is number five, actually. He what was about good. Harrison? Uh, what number two? He might be two, is he? McCall, yeah, yeah, Harrison. He's, he's very a good, 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 good player and, uh, and number 21. Yeah, they, look, they were, they were very quick. Uh, I'm sure that the Bell Post Hill ground will suit those players, but uh, look, you've got to give it to Bell Post Hill. The, uh, the caravan keeps rolling on and they're getting better and better. So in a good game today, I think Bell Post Hill will win at home. You said they were gone last week. No. I, didn't, I didn't say they were gone. They, they haven't played. It's a grand final over, Grubby. It's a grand final over. That's what I said to you. Uh, East Geelong, they struggle against the Magpies out of the Creek Barclay Oval last Saturday. 
and they come up against the Werribee Central's footy club. Grubby, your mob um, will to say they're desperate to get their form back would be an understatement. Well, I don't know whether it's form or not. You oh. obviously, ex- well, you obviously expect to play Belpost Hill and get a belt. You obviously Absolutely. do that. I agree. I obviously expect them to get beat the week before at Belmont, and they won. So uh, it depends. Like Buddy's playing all right. I think Monte Bruno's out again. I'm not sure, but. You know, East Geelong, they're not going that well either. They, they, they look like they were going to come good and they got belted themselves last week. So in the end, I've got no idea who'll win it, but being a Werribee boy, I'm going to go for Werribee, obviously. Mitch? Uh, look, I'm going to go for East Geelong for, for no other reason that Montebruno is out, uh, Grubby. And, uh, you know, the, those two buddy boys uh, are very, very good, but, the, but I think Werribee Central needs Montebruno as well. Uh, East, they're struggling. There's no doubt about that. So toss of the coin, East Geelong, because of their home ground. Do you agree with that, Alex? Yeah, I'll go with the home ground advantage, but this is a must win for Werribee, I believe, and I'm going to keep it at that. Fair enough. Now to the Thompson Thunderdome, it's the Tommy Tigers taking on the Anarchy Roos. Can you blokes continue on with your reasonably good comeback in the second part of the season, Mitch? Yeah, look, Thompson should win today, but, but for no other reason than it's at home. They were very, very disappointing last week, to be quite truthful. I thought that uh, uh, they, they come in a quarter time in front, uh, and I thought, well, this is going to be not a bad day, but uh, Belmont Lions just belted them. They, uh, they were too good for them all day, and uh, Thompson were very, very disappointing. They've got a lot of injuries, but you can't use those, that as an excuse. So I'm only going for Thompson today because it's at home, and uh, Anarchy haven't been travelling that well either. So, uh, yeah, Tommy Tigers at home today. Fair enough, Robbie. Gee, they're, they're a puzzle, Thompson, aren't they? They beat North Geelong one week and get beat by Belmont the next week. You don't know what they're going to do, but I think they'll be too good for Anarchy today at Thompson. Hey, Alex. I was going to go for Anarchy due to their probably better junior development, but looking back, coming to my senses, I'll go for the Tigers. <laughs> well, the Cry Devils, they uh, certainly can't get a win, no matter how much they try at the moment. And... Uh, they're out of the Devils Playground this afternoon. They're taking on a pretty good Bannockburn outfit. And uh, start with you, Alex. I can't see Corral winning their first game today. Neither can I, but just on Bannockburn, my apologies for uh, Tommy Mullane Grant, who I accidentally called uh, Brad Watts when I saw him shopping. I think it was the beard factor. <laughs> but look, now, you know what? To make up for it, I'll pick Banno by 100 points. Grubby. Bannockburn, too good. Uh, Bannockburn, and a very, very special hello to one of the most beautiful ladies in football in the GDFL. Who's that? I forget her name. What a- <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Lynn Robinson out at Bannockburn. She's a lovely, lovely lady. And now you've had your cheerio, get out of bed and cook Gary's breakfast for him. Oh. <laughs> Say something, Mitch. Oh, look, I, Bannock Burn, but Alex, uh, I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be um, apologising to... Uh, if apologising to the wrong person, I'd be apologising to Brad Watts. But no, no, they should win easily today, Bannock Burn. They're going OK. All right, the last game is on tomorrow. That's out at the West Oval. It's the Geelong West Cheaters taking on the Winchelsea Blues and uh, Grubby. It's uh, a game of two sides that uh, probably are a lot of strife at the moment. Well, I'll go for West, but my question is, where's Fano tonight? This morning. This morning. Where is he? I don't know. He's probably Janice Cook. Well, I can tell there. you, he's in hospital. Fano. Oh, we wish him all the best. He's, yeah, having, a, he's, he's right. having a gastroscopy yep. and a colonoscopy. And for his sake, I hope they do the colonoscopy first if they use the same instrument. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'll fix him. Well, oh, you had a brain scan once I didn't find anything. Oh, no. <laughs> They're still <laughs> looking. Yeah, yeah I know. That, that's going to lose. I'm completely lost now. Alex, it's a long west of Wintersley. Yeah, I'll go for west with Mark Hounslow and the boys. Mitch? West at home, uh, Dick, for me. Well, that takes care of all the games on this afternoon. Of course, tune to 94.7 The Pulse this afternoon for the big class in the Lee Hawks taking on the North Geelong Magpies. North Geelong's Ladies Day, July the 4th. For some reason, it's Independence Day. We've got no idea what that's supposed to mean. 15 bucks or 35 bucks. You can pick your package and it'll be a fantastic day and day. <laughs> What's that sound right? Pick your package? Got no idea. Where's it's that? Against the cry game. No, it's a long cry. Don't forget Anarchy too. They're past players. Anarchy, I know. They're going on. They're past players well. Now, Mitch, thanks for coming in, mate. All the best. Hashtag giddy up this afternoon. No worries, Dick. It's been a pleasure as always. Enjoy the call out at Inverley Grubber. You're going out there? Oh, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. And Alex, enjoy the Colts footy, mate. Thanks for that, Dick. And once again, Fano, we wish you all the best, mate. And hopefully you're coming good again. Thanks for your company. Right. We'll see. Shut up, Grubby. Thanks for your company. We'll see you all again next Saturday morning. Hope your team wins. Bye for now. with all our favourite sons. Never ever beaten. Australia's number one. We'll get the goals, boys, right from the jump. If we use some handball and never shirk the ball. So give it all your best as we answer to the call. Geelong in district football. The greatest league of all. Together, the best from all the league to show them how to play a 
and form a mighty team. The pride of our region with all our favorite sons. Never ever beaten, Australia's number one. We'll get the goals, boys, right from the jump. If we use some handball and never shut up off. So give it all your best as we answer to the call. Geelong and District Football, the greatest league of all.